my scrappy friends this is Hannah with you and today I am sharing with you a layout for the telephone hop the secret not secret kit club telephone hop that we've been doing um, I think this might be one of the last um, times that we're gonna be doing this so the premise behind it is um, the first person in the line creates a layout whether they are using a sketch or whatever or doing it from their own imagination <laughs> or how they want to do it and then um, they give it to the next person and the next person scrap lifts that and um, sends it to the next person so I got the the layout that I got was from Miranda and you have seen that at the beginning and so now I am going to do my own interpretation of that so I am taking just some, this is actually acrylic paint and I'm watering it down. I don't do this very often only because acrylic paint isn't really meant <laughs> to be watered down um, as far as like with water. It actually kind of doesn't, um, it's not really good for the paint, but anyway as far as the structure of the paint. But for this kind of thing, I'm just doing something really simple and it's not gonna make that much of a difference. So with the wet paint, I'm taking a charcoal pencil, like a drawing charcoal pencil, and I'm just gonna do some circles. So on Miranda's layout, she has a whole bunch of circles and she has a whole bunch of stamping. And so I'm gonna mimic that with the different elements that I add. So I will say I don't don't think I don't think I I did this a while ago. So <laughs> Yeah. I don't think I actually stamped right on the layout like Miranda did. Um and I believe all of the stamping that she did on her layout what like all the circles were stamps so all of this they there could have been some rub-ons too but anyway she also only used one photo if you haven't seen her video i'll make sure i link to that below i am gonna admit right now <laughs> that the ending so where i'm putting all the embellishments got cut off um i ran out of space on my ipad which i haven't done in like forever and so I lost some of the footage, but you see a lot of the main media part, which she had some media on it as well. Um, I think she might've used some sprays or something. So I'm gonna use stamps and stamp on cardstock because I wanna pop some to give a little bit of dimension. And this way it also allows for my background to dry because I'm doing this all in basically in one sitting, which is a little difficult when you use mixed media and stuff. So, um, yeah, but I want it to dry. So I'm going to use similar colors to the one color that I just did drops on, um, with the shimmers. So, so I have the Destructs Oxide Fossilized Amber and then this Pumpkin Pie Ink and then I have two blacks, which I really need to get a black. I haven't bought in black ink in a while. And my Allie Edgar Edwards one is drying out, which I ha bought that like years ago. And then that one two, one two canoe is more, it's turning blue or something. Like I could tell the difference when I use them together. So here are all the different shapes that I cut out or that I stamped and I'm doing mostly circles because I want to keep that circle theme in now Miranda she switched up some of her embellishments and had um and different stamps like the different stamps she just did a whole lot of like mixed media e type stamps um which is great and I think it really works for her style um but I wanted something a little bit more cohesive and in my photos, I also have a cup, which is circular, a circular. I have a strainer, which is circular. So I kind of wanted that theme. And so the only thing that isn't a circle is 
that tea bag. So I had some Prima stamps, and I think that one was in my Prima coffee, like coffee break. So, so here I'm adding the shimmers. I thought I did that before, but um, so I, this one is like a, it's that that yellowy color that everybody's using right now, like an ochre color. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. <laughs> So, and then this is Heidi Swap um, Gold Color Shine. I know that this is not something that you really can find very often anymore. I don't even think they produce it anymore. So this is just stuff that I had in my stash. So this is gonna go off and dry again, and I'm going to build all my layers not on my background. And I've done this quite a few times. It is kind of scary though sometimes because if you're not, comparing it to your layout it is very easy to go whoa go way overboard and then it fills up the whole page and i don't want it to fill up the whole page because i did that media i have all these stamp pieces i have those circles on there and so yeah so i tried to find colors that kind of match this greeny color um and some pinks and peaches because the t so this is um, a layout about tea that my daughter made so we at the beginning of the year want to say it was the beginning of the year maybe maybe it wasn't quite the beginning of the year it might have been like January December or something like that um, she we're learning about indigenous people in Canada and um, and one of the things that we learned is that you can make tea from p different pine, type of pine trees. And so we have a big pine tree out in our backyard. So she went outside and we are avid tea drinkers. Well, <laughs> my kids are. <laughs> I don't drink as much tea as they do, but um, they love tea. So, so she was like, yeah, we gotta try this, mom. And so she went outside and she found she pulled off some branches and so we washed it off really good and then we boiled it and made some tea and so i thought that this would be really fun to document because it was taking stuff like taking that school thinking and learning and then putting it into practice and so so really i'm just taking colors that are similar to that are in there and i'm naturey colors <laughs> And I'm just layering in them and having lots of fun. Um, I did try to think about how Miranda had her stuff layered. And she has a lot of embellishments as layers, which I didn't do. I just use papers, um, mainly because I have a lot of papers. Um, I know I have bits that I could have probably used. but um, And also because I'm using two photos that are more square-ish, but they are the opposite direction. Um, I knew it was gonna look a little bit different, but I did wanna try to keep some elements. And so when you see the final picture in the corner, cause Miranda has some stuff on that right-hand corner up at the top with some stamping and some some papers and stuff I made sure I did that too so I'm gonna bring that in so it'll be really interesting to see where Christy goes with it um, and what she does with this I did make sure that I added some sequins and enamel dots in with all my splatters to kind of bring out that splatter and I did add like some wood a wood piece that I had to kind of tie in the nature theme and some other circles so i really wanted to keep that circle theme and oh i did forget that i used some stitching uh, a stitching stamp to kind of just do one more stamping because <laughs> i knew that was something that miranda loves so i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you guys later bye